Coach Boyer takes the two men to a closet in his bedroom. Inside, they find a box with more than $40,000 in cash. The whole time they're asking him, does he have more money hidden, other locations? He keeps telling them no. They kept insisting that he had more. They find a 38 snub nose pistol, which actually turned out to be his housekeeper's, and they took it. They have Butch. They have his son, Brett. So they go back out to the location, out on 431. You've seen how dark it is. And the only thing in your heart that you can say to yourself is, please, if they have one ounce, one grain of compassion, they won't kill my son. Butch and Brett were both taken out of the car, and both of them were still handcuffed. Butch was pleading to let his son go, that he would find them more money, he would go get more money from the bank when it opened. He would do whatever that he felt like that he could do to let his son live. As he pleads with his captors, Butch is horrified to discover the two men have already dug a shallow grave. They take Butch a little bit away from where the car is, and they slit his throat. Ear to ear with a knife because they want to kill him. 